To be honest, I kind of wish I knew these things before I started to open my third eye and unlock my pineal gland. These are things that I really would advise you to think carefully about before you try and do this. Okay, so number one. The number one thing to be aware of is that you're going to have some pretty crazy intense dreams and not just dreams as well. It's going to be things like visions and sometimes even spontaneous out-of-body experiences. And this is something to bear in mind. If you're not prepared for this, these will be really intense experiences, especially the things like the lucid dreams, especially if you have, let's say, a lucid nightmare or a vision or a spontaneous OBE, these things are pretty intense. And if you're not ready for them, you know, they can be very overwhelming to the senses and you kind of don't really know how to process it. Number two, I don't really want to say they're warnings, but kind of things to be aware of before you open your third eye. So number two is that you will have very intense, energetic, emotional, even spiritual experiences and feelings and sensations that will be different to anything you've experienced before these you know it, and it can manifest in different ways it can be like a kundalini experience where you feel like this vibrational super powerful energy kind of rising up your spine it can be something in your third eye there's all kind of um different explanations for these symptoms i think someone actually said that there's all kinds of different terminology for these experiences these ascension symptoms where you could for example experience like headaches you could be feeling like a feeling of vibrating especially when you're trying to sleep energetic kind of resonance with people, vibrations, and being able to, and this is a really interesting one, I guess this is kind of good or bad, it depends which way you look at it, you can very quickly sense what a person is all about, you can get a, a real feeling of their energy without even talking to them, and this is I guess mainly done through the kind of pineal gland and third eye being able to just see right through them and, see, and judge, not judge them, but kind of see and sense their energy and intention. To be honest, most people have experienced this naturally anyway. You've had this feeling where you walk into a room and you kind of get a weird feeling about somebody or you're kind of drawn to somebody, like somebody just kind of pulls you in. That's not really random, that's kind of the energetic experience that you're having. The frequency, really, your frequency is vibrating at the same level, so you either get repelled away if it's not the same level or you get drawn to them if it is the same frequency. This will happen a lot more when you're opening your third eye. Number three, and this is the, probably the biggest warning I want to give you, is that when you start to go down the path of truth and awakening, when you start to really look into things, not just in terms of what's happening in the 3D world right now, but also in terms of yourself and going inwards and really understanding why we're here and how, you know, what we're made of, the whole purpose of life, when you start to really think about these questions, you will not be able to unlearn things. You won't be able to forget about this stuff and just go back to a quote-unquote normal life. You won't be able to just go back to having surface level conversations with people about the weather and all this kind of stuff. You know, once a mind has been opened, there's no way to shrink it back to its original size. You're going to be very open and in tune with what's going on. You will very easily see through people, politics, you will very easily see through the illusions that have been you know placed in front of us for so long and i guess that can be kind of good and it is good but it can also be kind of bad you know as they say in the matrix movie ignorance is bliss and sometimes being aware of the whole truth of what's going on you know it can get you down a bit if you're not ready for that and so that's something i think you should be aware of number four let's get back into this with a positive experience that you will have and that is that you'll be able to manifest things so much faster when you have opened your third eye and really got in tune with your energy and frequency. Things that were difficult before will suddenly become effortless. Things like, you know, manifesting money, manifesting good friendships, the right type of people, the opportunities that you want, health. These things will, you won't have to be going and chasing these things. They will just flow towards you effortlessly. And I really do mean this in every way. You won't have to put forth as much effort and kind of struggle to get these things because when you raise your frequency and open your third eye the things that match that frequency will automatically find you and this is really kind of an interesting thing to be aware of number five is kind of a social thing and that is that when you open your third eye and become aware of certain things and go down a certain path the people who are not resonant with you now in your kind of new uh, state it will be difficult to interact with them. It will be difficult to maintain friendships with people who kind of made friends with the old you. And then when you're kind of vibrating up here, not to say that you're better as such, uh, but when you're just vibrating at a higher frequency in, in a different way, the people who you made friends with before, it might be difficult to maintain that friendship because they wanna you know, continue to do the old things with you. Let's say if you used to, I don't know, drink or uh, whatever it is you used to do, let's say lower vibrational things, 
it will be more difficult to maintain that friendship when you're kind of, you want to do these things up here. You want to work on yourself. You want to understand and research philosophy and spirituality and have experiences in different countries. And do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of, it's different. You've crossed the bridge and your old life is over. So it's then very difficult to maintain a friendship with somebody who, let's say, is doing low vibrational things or they want to kind of criticize things, complain about other things and people. They believe everything they see on the TV, for example, for a more you know, up-to-date example. It's difficult to maintain those friendships, but I would love to hear what you think about this. And after knowing these things, do you still wanna do it? Do you still wanna go down this path and you know, unlock more of your spirituality? Or do you just wanna stay where you are, which is also fine?